Bully Kuta, the beast from the east. Introduction. The Bully Kuta is a large and muscular breed of dog that originated in India and Pakistan. This breed is known for its strength, loyalty, and protective nature. The breed is most popular in the Punjab region of India and Pakistan, including Haryana and Delhi. The history of this breed is murky. There is some variations of opinions and when you add national pride it depends on who you ask and where they're from the answers you might get. We will touch on some theories in this article. History The Bully Kuda is a large breed of working dog that originated in the Indian subcontinent. Here is a summary of the history of the Bully Kuda breed from the search results. The breed was originated in the Indian subcontinent, dating back to the 16th century. The Bully Kuda is of ancient Indian origin and is probably the most pure descendant of the old Mesopotamian war hunting dogs. The most logical and popular theory states that the Bully Kuda originated in India or Pakistan in ancient times. Due to the resemblance, many say it was crossbred from the Sindh hound and Molosser breeds like the Alant. They are viewed as the purest descendant of the Molossian hound. Other theories about the origin of this breed, when Britain conquered the subcontinent of Indo-Pakistan, the British soldiers brought their Mastiff-type dogs, Bull Terriers, and other breeds along with them. These dogs were crossed with the local breed, and that's why there are different types of Bully Kuttas, Pakistani Mastiffs. There is a theory that this breed was originated in the desert areas of Sindh. That's why it is also called a Sindh Mastiff. Physical Characteristics The Bully Kuda is a well-built, thick-boned, and muscular breed of dog. The weight of male Bully Kuda will range between 120 to 170 pounds. The average height is between 30 and 34 inches at the withers for males, and between 29.5 and 31.5 inches for females. They have a broad head, almond-shaped eyes, and erect ears that are often cropped. Their coat is short and smooth. These dogs are predominantly white, but combinations of other colors are also not uncommon. This breed has a short, smooth coat, which is usually white in color. However, black, fawn, harlequin, red, and brindle markings vary in different dogs. Health Concerns Pakistan and India A lot of times they're only bred for performance for the fighting ring, unfortunately. They are prone to hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, and arthritis. Also heart and cardiovascular issues, including mitral valve prolapse and forms of cardiomyopathy and blindness. Bully Kutta average lifespan is 8, 10 years old. Modern day uses. Unfortunately, because of its dog aggressive nature, many Bully Kuttas are illegally used for dog fighting. However, they can also be used as guard dogs due to their protective nature. They require plenty of exercise, training, and socializing. They are also known to be intelligent and noble. Conclusion The Bully Kuda is a large and muscular breed of dog that originated in India and Pakistan. They are known for their strength, loyalty, and protective nature. However, their dog-aggressive nature can make them difficult to handle. Overall, there isn't a lot of congruent history or information about the Pakistani Indian Mastiff. These dogs are very rare outside of India and Pakistan. Even in their native lands, they are fairly rare. Western dog breeds are much more popular in India and Pakistan. Although the breed is becoming increasingly popular across the world as a guard dog due to its intimidating presence and strength. The Bully Kuda is an extremely dog-aggressive mastiff. The breed is not for novice dog owners or the faint-hearted, the Bully Kuda is known to be used in dogfighting in India and Pakistan, including areas such as Delhi, Gurugram, and Noida. My opinion, I am completely enthralled with this breed and its variations, to their stunning but intimidating appearance, to their actual physical prowess. If I had a larger property with the ability to properly maintain Bully Kudas, I would definitely give it a shot and import a couple. That said, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone wanting just a family pet or even just a guard dog. These dogs seem like a lot of dog that needs constant care and direction.